Hey everybody, we decided to bring This Week in Geek back. Let's talk about this. Mistakes were definitely made. Slim! Y'all know what day it is? It's bath day! Hey everybody, what is going on? Brandon here, and yeah, we decided to bring This Week in Geek back. If you don't already know what this is, this is the show we did a while back. We decided to start doing it again. It was something I really loved doing, Nathan really liked doing, so we decided to bring it back. This is the first episode. Unfortunately, my co-host is not here, uh, but in this show, we just talk about news and stuff that's happened over the last week, two weeks, uh, in nerd culture, internet culture, the whole whole nine yards. So, uh, with that being said, let's get started. But before we get started, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Player One Coffee. Coffee made by gamers, for gamers. Use the links down below to get 5% off any of your purchases. And with our first story, it seems piracy has struck again with over 11,000 people watching the KSI vs. Logan Paul 2 stream through a YouTuber's glasses. Yes, the reflection in his glasses. Now, this isn't as impressive as this. But, yeah, that's still pretty ingenuitive. But yeah, I couldn't do it. Uh, their, their hands are just too bad. I, I I forced myself to watch their first fight. That one was painful for me to watch. Uh, I was not about to pay to watch this, and I, I wasn't going to pirate it, but I wasn't going to pay to watch it either. So I haven't watched it. I've seen a couple highlights, uh, but their hands are just... They're so bad, I couldn't do it. But I did keep myself entertained while everybody was watching that. I was over checking out Dave's Double Trouble Championships, uh, and then I changed the channel and checked out Popeye's new Racist Survivor series they got going on. Pretty good stuff. Next up, we actually got our first teaser trailer for Crisis on Infinite Earths, the Arrowverse mega event that's going on uh, in December. This is, I mean, I, I love the Arrowverse. I don't like all the shows. Uh, I love Arrow, even though it's had some bad seasons. Uh, I love The Flash, even though it's had some rocky seasons. Uh, and it's had some really cringy episodes. I think they all had some really cringy episodes. Uh, I cannot stand Supergirl. I, I, I don't know why. I just cannot watch that show. It's painful to me to try to watch it, so I don't ever watch it. The only time I do is during the crossover season. Um, Batwoman. Uh, you guys have probably seen my video that got copy struck uh, where I bashed the Batwoman trailer. I can take it or leave it. I actually was pleasantly surprised with the premiere. Uh, they took a lot of the cringe out of the premiere that they had shown in the trailer. So um, I actually liked the first episode. Uh, I can take it or leave it as far as the whole uh, series is concerned. But this is a huge event. They got people coming back from Smallville. Uh, they got the original Robin, Burt Ward coming back. Um, they've got, they were, I, I believe they initially had Adam West was going to be coming back before he had passed. I mean, they've been in talks with getting a lot of people uh, in back in this show. So uh, the crossover is a big deal. We even get Brandon Routh coming back, reprising his role uh, from Superman Returns as that Superman. So it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. The teaser trailer really didn't do much for me. Uh, everything we've seen in the teaser trailer, we had already seen um, in images. We already knew it was going to happen. Uh, I think I'll be really impressed. I just want them to use a good amount of uh, their budget on practical effects because it's CW. They're not going to have great effects for the CGI stuff. So, But uh, I am excited about Crisis. I know a lot of people hate on the uh, the Arrowverse and those shows, uh, but you know, I found Arrow when I was in a really dark place, and I love the show, and kind of I've stuck with it through its bad seasons, and I'm sad to see it go, but I'm really excited to see uh, Crisis. I'm pretty pretty excited about it. <laughs> Moving on. Next up in both movie and game news, we have the new Sonic the Hedgehog trailer showcasing the the new redesign, our first official look at the new redesign. Uh, we had a couple leaks that came out a few weeks ago. Uh, we weren't sure if that was the official design or not. Turns out it was. Um, so we finally got to see it in, in the new trailer and I gotta say I'm impressed. Uh, not only am I impressed that it looks so much better, but I'm impressed that this movie went from when I initially saw the first trailer, uh, when with the really bad design, even with the really bad design aside, uh, when I saw the first trailer, I thought I, we were going to get one of these kind of monstro monstrosities, uh, and I was actually really impressed. Now with this new trailer, I, I can't say that I'm thrilled and I'm really excited to see it, but I am intrigued enough to see the studio push to fix a problem, to say "whoops, are bad," and then actually step in to fix it. Uh, I'm intrigued enough now, and then seeing them actually step up and make him look this good and make this new trailer look better, I'm really interested to see the movie now. I think it will probably be pretty good. It 
probably won't be super great. I'm sure little kids are going to love it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see it though. I'm not, I'm, you know, off jumping up for joy. I'm not going to be first in line to see it, but I was not going to go take my kids to see it when I saw the first trailer. Now I'm going to take my boys to see it uh, when it comes to theater. So I guess they, they've won some of us over, but I want to know your guys' thoughts. Are you impressed with the redesign? Are you going to see this movie now, or is it still not really your cup of tea? Do you, did you not like it even before you saw the original design? Did you Were you not for a Sonic movie? Let me know in the comments down below. But moving on. Lastly in gaming news, with the announcement that Death Stranding, a PS4 exclusive, is going to be actually making its way to PC in 2020 via the Epic Game Store, a lot of speculation has been circling the internet on whether or not Sony is actually loosening its grip on exclusivity. Because of course we did just see God of War, Infamous Second Son, Uncharted all make its way onto PC a couple weeks ago via the PS Now service. And everyone has their own theories. There are some on the radical side saying, oh no, this is Epic Games, they've tainted Sony, they've tainted Microsoft, it's the Epic Game Store coming to consume Sony. You know, there are those radical theories out there. Then there are the a little bit more sensible theories that maybe this is just the developers uh, making a power play. Maybe they're pushing Sony for this because they do understand it's a bigger market. I, for one, have my own theory. I've talked about it in the past in some of my other videos. I personally just believe it's more cost effective for Sony to do it this way. It doesn't really make sense for them to focus so much on exclusivity because the cost of consoles is just going to continue to climb. Uh, we've seen it about every generation. It's about a $200 jump. And that's not a coincidence. The cost of memory isn't going down. It's only going up. It's always only gone up. So, and that's going to continue to happen, especially now when we've got the crypto market. Um, so when you look at the specs of what they're saying is going, the new Xbox and the new PlayStation 5 are going to be, you can see, okay, a lot of people are probably not going to pay what these are going to cost uh, for a couple exclusives. So what? let's sweeten the deal or give us something else, which is why we see Microsoft focusing on getting their more of their first party games, not only on other consoles, but onto PC specifically. Um, we're seeing uh, Nintendo actually talk to Microsoft and they're working on a partnership. Uh, we've heard rumors that Game Pass and Xbox Live are going to be coming over to the Nintendo Switch in the future. We've seen, uh, now we've seen Sony start doing it, putting some of their exclusives on PC. So it just, it's more cost effective this way because we are seeing more of a focus on cloud gaming and games as a service models, as opposed to console sales. I'm like, uh, with Microsoft's new deal, you, I think it's like $20 a month. Uh, you get an Xbox One X, Game Pass Ultimate. That's a pretty sweet deal. Uh, that's, and then you get the free upgrade to whatever Project Scarlet's going to be whenever it comes out. So uh, there's definitely a lot to that, and there's definitely something there. And I think, like I've said before, I think that's the direction the market's going because the cost of these consoles, how expensive everything is, uh, and it's only getting more expensive. It's not getting cheaper. Cost of living's going up. Uh, cost of memory is going up, so it's it's harder to, for somebody to afford. Even gaming PCs uh, it, are getting more and more expensive. So uh, definitely just see it being Sony is loosening their grip because they understand which direction the market's going. They're not fully loosening their grip. Uh, I still haven't heard anything about a PC version of uh, Final Fantasy VII, Sony. So yeah, let's get on that. Uh, but anyway... Yeah, so that's it for today's show, though, guys. I don't really have much to talk about. There wasn't a lot of news as far as nerd-related culture went, and I really wanted to do an episode and kind of say, hey, guys, uh, this is we're going to start doing these episodes again. So this was kind of just like the premiere episode, warm-up kind of thing. Uh, definitely still need to look into getting a better camera. This one's still a little too grainy, but that'll be... Uh, purchase down the road. Hopefully, maybe uh, the wife will get me one for Black Friday. If you're watching this, honey, that's, that's what I want. Anyway, thank guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please do us a favor and mash that thumbs up button. Unless, of course, you're one of the easily offended snowflakes and you've already mashed that dislike button. I know you did. Anyway, check out some of our stuff over on the left. Check out some of our links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.